Hello everyone, welcome to another awesome video from the Fat Vegan Chef. I'm vegan, I'm fat, and I was a chef in a previous life, the Fat Vegan Chef. Let me ask you, do you have any extra bananas laying around you don't know what to do with? Well, I'm going to show you some ways to get rid of them. I'm going to be making some banana bread. You can also use this recipe to make banana muffins. And also, you might want to check my previous video where I showed you how to use some of those overripe, too ripe to eat bananas to make some nice cream. But you know what? Today, we're going to be making some banana bread. So, are you ready? Let's go bananas! The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a mixing bowl, a strainer, measuring cups and measuring spoons, teaspoon, a dough cutter or a mashed potato maker, rubber spatula, a wooden spoon, some spray, another bowl, and either a bread pan or a muffin tin, or both. You will also need a cutting board with a damp towel underneath and a bread knife or a shredded knife. Today I'm going to top my banana bread with the streusel and for the streusel you'll need a quarter cup of earth balance at refrigerator temperature, one half cup of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon blend and when I say blend I have a one-to-one -one ratio of Ceylon and Saigon cinnamons in here I just like the taste of the mixture of the two cinnamons and uh, I think that you should try it. I think you'll like it a lot better than the regular cinnamon you can buy at the store. For the bread and or muffins themselves, you'll need two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. Sorry, I have a new kitten and she's playing right now. Um, one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of butter that's been softened, and I will soften this when it's time to make the recipe. Four large ripe to overripe bananas, one half cup of plain vegan milk, one and one half teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also, if you like your nuts in your bread and or muffins, you can put in one cup of chopped walnuts if you like. Um, I'm not really a big fan of nuts in my bread, so I'm eliminating this from this recipe since I'm the one that will be eating it. So those are the ingredients that you're going to need to go ahead and gather them up and I'll meet you right back here when you're ready. First thing you want to do is put your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Get the oven nice and warm for the bread. Now we're going to make some vegan buttermilk. You want to take the one and a half teaspoon of lemon juice, put that in the half cup of plain unsweetened uh, vegan milk, and we're going to set this aside, let everything curdle. Now we're going to make the strudel. Go ahead and put one quarter cup of refrigerated earth balance, one half cup of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of brown sugar, and one half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to take our pastry cutter. We're going to cut this until it all kind of blends and becomes chunky. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm just going to put this in a bowl and we're going to set this aside and now we'll make the star of the show. All right, let's go ahead and make some bread. I've gone ahead and peeled the bananas. I'm going to mash this with my pastry knife or you could use a potato masher if you want. Make this as chunky as you like. I like mine a little bit chunky, so I'm going to leave some big chunks in here. But you do want to pulverize some of this until it's almost liquid state because you want some of that banana to act like a binder since this is vegan and have no eggs and bananas are a substitute for eggs. All right, that's pretty well mashed. I'm gonna go ahead and add in softened earth balance. Softened, softened earth balance. And that's one quarter cup of earth balance, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of salt. Mix this in with the bananas. 
I've got that well mixed. Now I'm going to add the buttermilk. And if you see it be lumpy and chunky, don't worry about that because that's just the lemon juice reacting to the milk and curdling it. Go ahead and give this a mix. Now put the one quarter teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda in with the flour and sift the flour. Now when making breads like this, when you're not making like a dough, when you're just making a, a sweet bread or any pastries where you're not building up gluten, you want to mix, I always mix this by hand instead of by a mixer. Then that way I'm building as little gluten as I possibly can. I'm being gentle with it and I'm not over mixing. And I'm going to mix this just until it forms into the bread. Then that way I'm building as little gluten as possible. It'll make for a lighter texture your bread it won't be so tough and I think this is ready I don't see any plain flour in here so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the pan I have gone ahead and already coated this with the baking spray I'm going to put the banana bread mixture in the pan I have the mixture in the pan now I'm going to tap this against the counter a few times to help even out the mixture and get rid of some of the air bubbles in there. I'm gonna go ahead and edit that part out because it's gonna be nice and loud. Have it nice and even. Now I'm going to coat the top with the streusel mixture I made earlier. And you may not need all of the mixture that I ma that we made. Now what I'm going to do is put this in the oven, and I'm and it's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake the bread for an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean. If you're making muffins, bake them at 20 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick comes clean. Don't put them in there for an hour and then expect them to be good so start at 20 to 30 minutes for muffins start in an hour for the banana bread so i'll see you in an hour and then after the hour what i'll do is i'll pull the bread out of the oven let it sit in the pan for 10 minutes and then take it out of the pan and then let it cool completely so i will see you once this is baked banana bread is out of the oven i've let it sit for 10 minutes let's go ahead and try to remove it out of the pan and uh, see what it looks like. I've got this makeshift cooling rack, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't take this out without breaking our wonderful streusel on top. Okay, now I'm going to let it sit and rest for at least an hour, let it cool down, and then we'll cut into it and see what it looks like inside. Our banana bread is nice and cool. I'm going to go ahead and cut into this. Looks perfect. Doesn't that look good? And this banana bread, before serving, if you want to, you can go ahead and heat it up in a toaster oven for a moment or two. Give it some warmth, put some earth balance on it, however you want to do it. I really hope that you like this recipe. Please share it with your friends and family and let them know about this yummy vegan banana bread. Share it on your favorite social media site as well. You can find me just by looking for the Fat Vegan Chef. Also, please feel free to send me a dollar or two to help pay for the ingredients and equipment that was used to make this recipe for you. You can find out how by going to tfbc.org forward slash donate. Now excuse me while I eat this muffin.